We are heading to Charlotte, North Carolina to celebrate um, my kid's grandmother, their um, paternal grandmother's birthday. So we are stopping at the store right now to get juice and snacks and we are going to hit the road. I believe I'm making the most of the good times and the bad times because in the end, they're good for you. Got the kids bug juice. I got this pina colada Fanta, y'all. So good. I got my husband this Coca-Cola and we got water. Y'all, this is one of my favorite water, like, yeah, non-carbonated water. Okay, so it's got a little bit of fruit infused in it. Really good, y'all love this stuff. Comment down below if you ever tried it. Over the years, I've learned so much, y'all. Even though a lot of those things have been difficult, it made me so much better. I lost friends. I had disagreements with coworkers. I fell out of love with people that were in my life. So much took place. My feelings was hurt. I was heartbroken. And I'm learning to forgive today. I used to wonder why I keep going through this and I realized that God was equipping me and making me a better woman of God. Yeah, you see the doggy? You want to touch the doggy? Want to say hello? Okay, it's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> that bar. She had all During this time, I made a lot of mistakes and these mistakes made me better because now I know what not to do in certain situations and how to respond and how to just be wiser with my decisions. Even though a lot of the lessons that I learned were very hurtful and caused a lot of pain, it's equipping me and making me wiser for future times ahead. Look, 
The part about my journey that makes me the most happiest is that I get to pass on what I learned to my kids. Yeah, we had a wonderful time. The kids had a blast with their cousin. The food was wonderful. They had music, they had movies going. Um, Y'all, the cake was beautiful. Um, their grandma was celebrated 69 years of life. That was so beautiful, y'all. It was just such a beautiful thing. A whole lot of family came. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And but yes, y'all, we had a great time. Y'all, I tried a new food. Um, I think I got a picture of it. I'll make sure I put it on the screen. Um, but I think it, it was called something, but it would had goat cheese. It had um, dried tomatoes. I don't know. I think it was green peppers. I'm not sure, but it was so good. Uh, and it was chicken. So there's some kind of sauce. It was thinly cut. Favorite thing. And I also had one of my favorites, Caesar salad. Oh, um, the dressing. The dressing was elite. It was so good. Like it was a really good dressing. I'm gonna have to ask where did she go? <laughs> Cause that dressing was so good. Like. So flavorful, like not bland like some of those Caesar salads are. It was so good. Um, what else I had that I really like? Mm, those are my top two. What else did I get? I know I got some baked beans, salad, the chicken. I got that chicken twice. Really good. Um, oh, I also got some peach cobbler. Really good, y'all. All the food was just so good, period. <laughs> period. Uh, we also took pictures. Uh, um, made sure I put pictures. But I put footage of that earlier. Uh, they took pictures with Kayla. It was beautiful. We also took some pictures outside, not um, professionally, but we took them outside. We took like, like just normal, random family pics. That was really fun. But um, yeah, y'all, we had a good time, y'all. We were um, stopping to get a few things and then we're going to head out. And y'all, we made it home safely, thank God. But um, y'all, great event. Just wanted to do like a little mini recap. Um, but basically, um, we just bonded, um, took pictures, and ate a wonderful dinner. It was really good. Um, the food was so good. They had chicken. Basically, cookout food, a combination of cookout food and dinner food. Uh, they had uh, catered food and everything else, too. I got this food. So excited. It's 30 daughters, her thoughts and perspective of God's word. The year of perseverance. Let the revelation revel. Oh, let the revival begin in you. And it's a whole like 30 ministers. So, so excited. I got this, y'all. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait to read this. I'm putting this at the front of my um my reading basket that I have. I'll show y'all that later, but I have a reading basket and I try to make sure I read all those books in my reading basket. Um, I got the idea from um, a homeschooling vlog that I watched, and they were saying that they have a um, morning basket that they do all their morning activities, and um, I incorporated that. I also plan on doing um, some more baskets, some home, a homeschool basket and a Jesus basket for the kids, as well as an activity basket, so we can have that stuff like all planned out and together instead of like just doing everything little by little piece by piece instead of just be compiled in one area and i won't have to worry about it. just pull it out and um go from there but yeah great time um i look forward to reading this super excited